go. Oh, here we go. Mama's coming and going. It's a little cold. So these bees haven't done a whole lot with these supers, which I'm not really happy with. Okay, so there's plenty of bees in there and they're slightly cranky because I just got stung on my finger. However, as I was saying, I'm not a real big fan of these plastic frames and I don't think these ladies are either. So we'll switch these out for um, frames that have drawn comb on the insides there and uh, see if they put up a little more food. But I did give it the old heft test and it's pretty heavy, so I'm sure it's full of food and uh, they'll be okay for the winter. And it appears as if one of these is a little bit of a dead out. There's some wax moth damage in there. Been a dead out for a minute. So that's okay. We will um, take care of these ladies. That way we have two very lovely, very full of somewhat feisty bees. And I have a bee in my hair. So let's try and get her to knock out. Oop. Oop, there she went. And that's what it's like to have bees in your hair. Uh, this hair's a mess, y'all. So here we are at beautiful Parkland Hospital. And we have some hives that are way over there under that tree. You can kind of see our purple a little bit. Um, this is a wildlife area that the hospital manages and really tries to keep nice. They have gardens and all kinds of stuff out here. Uh, this is truly a nice little sanctuary that they've worked really hard to take care of. And our bees are part of it. So let's go take a look at them. All right, we're here at that uh, hive that we saw last week that had dumped over and now we're doing a little maintenance work. And we had a friend who needed some bees. And guess what we have a ton of in this hive. <laughs> Extra bees! So we're going to share. We have tons of bees in here too. We're going to pull out a few frames, <laughs> replace them with some empty frames so that they have room. And I heard, I heard from a little birdie that we're going to steal a honey frame and make some honey for the mayor. <laughs> but that was just what I heard. <laughs> So this is that beautiful honey frame that we pulled out of our hive yesterday. And we're going to do a crush and strain method. Oh my gosh. Of taking this off. So we're just going to pull this off the frame. And then let that honey, it's kind of thick, it's kind of more of a winter honey, fall honey, without the fall honey taste. And we're just going to let that drain and this strain into this dish. And then we'll process that wax for something else. Oh, so thick. This was a beautiful honey frame. It was just the perfect example of what a honey frame should look like. Okay. We don't want to miss any of that gorgeous honey. And now,
You can see it's all in there and it will strain out and we'll see what it looks like in the jar uh, when we're ready to bottle it all up. So this is one of my favorite yards and this is why. Hi, buddy. This is my little donkey friend and he always comes up to say hello to me. So the bees are right there and all the horses come and talk to me, but especially my little donkey friend. Oh, no, not today. Not today, buddy. But they do come running. It's sort of scary because they do come running for you when I show up because they think I'm going to feed them. Oh, buddy. Okay. Sweet. They're all out. Beautiful sun. And I got one girl that just wants to keep buzzing me. She just let me know that I'm in her spot. But she's not going to sting me. What a gorgeous day. All right, so we let this sit all night long. And all the honey has pretty much come out of this. And <gasps> there it is. Oh, look at how sweet that looks. Nice. And so what uh, you can do with this wax is you can put it outside and you can feed your bees. Or uh, sometimes I like to pour bourbon over this and it makes a honey bourbon, whatever you, uh, whatever floats your boat there. And then I will melt the wax down and we will use that in beekeeping or I don't know, whatever craft project I got going on. Four to six seconds of CO2. Okay. A little light. The hive is a little light on bees. Okay, so let's dump them out. Um, so shake, 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 shake. So this is, we're testing for Varroa mite with the new CO2 test kit that does not kill the bees. It just kind of stuns them and then they wake back up. So maybe a little more vigorous shake, a little bit. There you go. Ooh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Dump them back in the hive? Yeah. And they'll just start coming back to life. They can just start waking up here in a minute. Yeah. And what's our... Okay, so let's set that down. Over here. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. All right. I know what I see. You tell me what you see. Oh, okay. I see quite a few mites. Yeah. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, this is a mite eleven. bomb. I, I mean, we're way over where we need to be. So that is probably what the problem is because this hive is, we, we sort of recognize that it was failing. The queen isn't, isn't doing very good. And I would say that that's because it's a mite bomb. So <clears throat> I don't think we need to test. We have eight hives out here. And I think with that load, we need to just treat. So, but we're gonna check all the rest of these too. We're not going to do a mite test. We're just going to check on them. Okay, so now we're going to take... This has got a very low population of bees. We had two boxes on it, and we're identifying frames to come out because we're going to merge these two boxes for this hive into one. And then, as we already identified, um, this is the one we did the mite test on, and it's definitely a mite bomb, so... But now we're going to kind of identify empty frames. Ooh, there's a lot of bees on that. So there's the box. We're, we're pulling it. It has a lot of honey, a lot of food. So just condense for the winter. It's November. So we're going to con condense. 
and hopefully get these girls treated and things will look a little better. Oh, smell the bananas. Hey y'all, it's Michelle and we are gonna do some beekeeping on what is probably one of the last really beautiful days of the year in November in Texas. We are gonna go check on some hives, give them some hot treatments, uh, maybe pull out any dead outs and see what's going on. Uh, and then we'll hang up our boot bee suits for a little bit until we pull the hives in and uh, get everything ready to start sending them out for uh, the almond fields for pollination. So maybe a little break. Hey, so I'm working with Martel today and I got a question for you. All right, what's the question? So, you know, I just, just love that Mike calls you Uncle Marty and I have not decided if that is your choice or his choice. <laughs> <laughs> that stems probably from a, a Christmas card my sister made uh, last year. I was staying with my sister and and so she decided to do a Christmas card and she wanted to include me. So it had her family and Uncle Martell. Oh, Uncle Martell. So Mike is shortening it to Uncle. my nickname back in, like probably when Mike and I met because we've known each other for I don't know how many years. We met way back when. So uh, yeah, I was probably going by Marty back then. Okay, so so Uncle Marty is is an approved nickname. It's not something that yeah. you. Uh, it's alias. Alias. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we'll just you are officially dubbed Uncle Marty then in all the blogs, not just Mike's. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. We had a little extra something something in this hive. We taken the frames out because it was a dead out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Babies. No, no babies yet. That mama ran out though, didn't oh, she? Look, there's another. Oh, hi baby. Oh, hi. Hi little mouse. Hi. Oh, I tell you what, they're so good. Okay, so we're checking hives. And of course, we found someone's queen marking pen inside the hive. Nice job, Gary and Jody. <laughs> no, that's Mike and Jody. <laughs> yeah, we'll like Mike's pen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so me and Uncle Marty, we did about 247 hives today that we checked and took care of, and we're a little worn out, a little tired. Uncle Marty only crushed my fingers once and threw me out of the truck once, so <laughs> it's a good day. It's an accident. <laughs> All right, so it's December, but boy, it's over 60, and we came to check on some hives, and this is going on, so it could be orientation flights, which are the new bees learning to fly, but I'm not sure that that's what's going on, so um, could be robbing where they're trying to steal their food. They're all active, they're all looking real good, but this one's a little scary weird. So I'm gonna open it up, let's see what's going on in there. Surprised you're not using a smoker. Well, I wanted to get in here real quick to see what was going on. Oh. Look at that. No, they're not robbing it. That's nice. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. You can tell it's being robbed. Because they're chewing up the the comb. Yep. So this literally just happened though. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Y'all, 
this next video is a little disturbing. It's December. It's the first week of December and we are doing a little uh, checking on our hives and um, maybe doing some mite treatments. And Matt is helping me. And while he um, has his great moments, he also videotapes me when I'm struggling, which I do not appreciate. And then when I try to talk to him, he cannot hear me. So I wind up yelling and it looks awful. And, uh, you know, it seems as if maybe we are not. Hey. Where are we going? Did I yell at you? <laughs> Is it okay? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how much you make it up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is Matt, and he's going to stick with me through thick and thin, and me yelling at him, and him going deaf. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> you don't have to video this. Huh? You don't have to video this! Obligatory mask video. I'm sure you're going to see us all doing this. This is new to all of us. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Michelle and I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what we're working on here. We are writing the curriculum for our B classes that we're going to start having in February. February the 10th and 11th uh, are going to be our first set of classes. And I'm working hard this winter on getting all kinds of good material ready uh, to teach these classes and we'll have workshops and a bunch of other classes coming up in the spring. The first ones we're working on are the beginner basic classes one, two, and a workshop. So if y'all wanna know more about bees and it's just not getting you enough through our vlogs, come on and join us. And uh, you can check out our education page at honeybeesunlimited.com. And of course you can spend a couple hours with me. How fun is that? All right, Martel, how many hives did we treat with our uh, oxalic acid? I believe that was 216. And how many yesterday? One, one something. One something. So we did 300, <laughs> let's say 325. 325. 325 in two days. But that's all right, because what was our mic counts today? We had zero. Zero. That's what we want to hear, right? Zero my count. All that's, right. That's the goal. That is the goal. Look at my car, man. I had some hives in there that I pulled some frames, and I'm feeding all your bees. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, y'all. That's a wrap-up of another month in beekeeping and all the different things we do and different ways we get pulled. Uh, hopefully things will settle down just a little bit, and in January, man, we're going to hit it hard again. So... We should, we should be having some fun in January. So I will see y'all around. I uh, hope everyone has the best holiday season. Uh, whatever you do, whoever you do it with, have fun.